That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and you mine? Okay, sup guys, it's your boy Dark Reco here with What If uh, Issei was betrayed, well, yeah, was betrayed and re reincarnation of Virgil Sparta, and also I have something else, don't worry about that. Now, let me begin into something, I know I just kind of just re uh, recorded this whole, whatever, if you heard that in the beginning, that was just me kind of trolling, I don't know, uh, but not the point. So this is kind of a requested what if, well, say recommended, requested, well, you can, I'm just going to say demand it <laughs> from one person. It's, uh, but yeah, but if you want to ever request what ifs or recommend or whatever, just comment in the freaking comments. I might be able to get your, uh, what's it called, comment later on this or whenever. Most of the time, YouTube doesn't really want to, uh, show me your comments, so sometimes I just go on to some of the videos. Out of having to rewatch them or something, or just go on to the uh, YouTube studios, and it does show up your comment there. So, if you ever just want to, do whatever. But yeah, not the point. This is uh, uh, mostly this thumbnail wasn't actually made by me. It was actually uh, mostly kind of made by another person. He put it in his community tab, and I asked him why he's actually requesting mostly this. What if? Uh, when he already has his own channel and he don't already has like a hundred subscribers and other things and I was questioning he said that he, I can use this thumbnail because he did request it anyway so of course I'm using his thumbnail um maybe I make some uh, mod changes into the thumbnail maybe maybe not uh but mostly it's not really my thumbnail but yeah but uh so this is the person who asked is Virgil uh yeah Mostly he spells Virgil with the I instead of an E, but whatever. Virgil, what ifs? Uh, that's mostly the person that asked, but yeah. Um, he kind of has this in his community, but yeah. That's where I kind of got the thumbnail, but yeah. But other than that, let me begin into this what if. So yeah. So of course, um, before I go on any further ado, uh, he is going to be betrayed, cheated, and other stuff. He's also going to be the reincarnation of Virgil, and he's also going to have something else. Don't worry about that. Let me begin to this what if. I will mention that later, but for right now, let me begin. So yeah, I'm not going to try to waste any more time, but let's begin. This is where, well, we go into mostly a person with very palish brownish hair. Of course, he has very palish skin at the same time. This is where, well, his eyes are so lifeless. This is where he seems so skinny. He's right now in bed, very weak, very weak. Has three, not even, not three, mostly eight black spots on his chest. Now, of course, you can see it because of his like very palish, lifeless red shirt that he used to wear. Now, of course, it became very pale because he hasn't, well, been outside in about eight months. <clears throat> Ever since a curse, a sickness that has been killing him slowly. Slowly, but at the same time fast. Because in normal sicknesses, this would have took about four to five years. But for right now, it's actually taking him eight months. Thanks to his own willpower, but for some reason, he has his own willpower. But we go into the beginning of why this sickness is actually starting. And what this sickness is actually called. We go into eight months before anything happens. We go into mostly... A brownish hair boy with very life, uh, mostly a bunch of life in his eyes. Of course, he had a perverted grin at the time, thinking about some girls that he actually was thinking of, like, mostly asking to marry them and other things. They're in college, or some of them are in college, some of them are actually in his third year of high school, but yeah. This is where, well, he's wearing a kind of blazer, mostly a third year or uniform blazer. Of course, wearing a red shirt, mostly underneath. This is where, well, he has kind of, well, blackish pants and doesn't wear bluish shoes. He is kind of going to see someone with kind of bl uh, blondish hair and brownish hair. Or, mostly not blondish, brownish hair. He was mostly kind of working on mostly most, uh, a bunch of contracts to kind of save up a lot of money 
and to kind of get rings. Mostly rings to propose towards some people that he's actually fallen in love for. Of course, who are well, he doesn't know if, well, mostly he's kind of nervous and other things, but yeah. But of course, he managed to kind of get, well, he bought nine rings. These nine rings were for mostly nine special girls. Of course, this is where, well, he was kind of getting towards mostly the, well, mostly the house. But before he got close to the house, he felt very sick, very kind of like, mostly he wanted to vomit for some reason. Of course, this is where, well, he was getting closer towards the house. This is where, well, when he got close enough to the house, he felt like his whole body was on fire. Of course, something was warning him. An instant was telling him to go away, to mostly run away. Don't go inside. This is where, well, he doesn't understand. This is his own house. But when he opened the door, he felt like everything's normal somewhat. He saw some clothes on the ground, thinking it's probably his parents kind of having fun in some kind of guest room. But of course, he didn't understand. Of course, this is where, well, when he started going upstairs into his mostly kind of uh, girlfriend's room, he felt very sick, more sick. This is where his face started becoming much more paler. But this is where with his strong will, he managed to push forward. This is where, well, when he's getting closer and closer, he kind of saw his room mostly crack. It's all the way down the hallway, but yeah, but when he saw his room kind of a little bit crack, he, when he gets closer, his face started becoming much more pale, and of course, he started becoming sicker, and of course, this is where he smells something weird, very weird. Of course, this is where, well, it smells quite weird, and it was something similar, but familiar for a little bit. But of course, this is where, well, when he keeps getting closer, he started hearing these kind of like, well, mostly voices, or not even voices, kind of like, like how should I say, screams and pleasure. This is where, well, he's confused. But when he gets closer and closer and closer, he kind of cracks the door a little bit open, and what he sees kind of horrifies him. He sees mostly, well, so he sees mostly a total of mostly five other guys in the room with his nine kind of total confessed girlfriends but yeah this is where well he sees two people kind of well mostly if you i'm not really gonna go into detail but they're mostly fucking mostly two people fucking in his bed and of course going wild of course well mostly two of them are kind of moaning in pleasure of course one has purplish kind of bluish hair of course this is where she has kind of magenta eyes this is where she kind of has a heart in her eyes the other one has red hair and of course lightish blue uh greenish eyes also having hearts in her eyes the person behind them is a guy with blondish hair of course having bluish eyes had had an arrogant look into his face which he knows who exactly this motherfucker is but of course he then looks at the others Mostly, he sees a bluish hair girl with greenish a uh, bang, and of course a girl with orange hair. Of course, the bluish hair girl with the greenish bang has kind of yellow eyes, while the other one has kind of orange, orange chest, uh, chestnut hair. This is where, well, she has it in two ponytails, but it was right now kind of just mostly let go of the two ponytails. Of course, this is where, well, she kind of had kind of purple magenta eyes. This is where, well. Uh, mostly, uh, she was right now with someone that had blondish hair, mostly kind of a lightish blondish hair, bluish eyes, and kind of had a pretty, kind of pretty face. Now, of course, it was a male, but yeah. And, of course, next to him was a guy smaller than him with blondish hair, or not even blondish hair. No, it wasn't, no, wait, no. <sighs> no, he was kind of, uh, well, th it was those three kind of having fun. Then there was another, uh, mostly side, a guy with kind of, also blondish hair and kind of had uh, wait also having blue hair uh, mostly blue eyes and blondish hair of course he was having fun with mostly uh, a girl with kind of well mostly of course this person kind of was having fun with a girl with kind of blondish hair and of course greenish eyes of course she had a very innocent look but right now she didn't have an innocent look just to wear it well from those two, there was another person, mostly a guy with kind of, sh he was shorter than the other kind of blonde hairs. Of course, he kind of had like lightish blonde hair, and of course, he kind of had reddish, kind of yeah, reddish eyes. This is where, well, he had a vampire aura towards him, but he was having fun with the girl with uh, whitish hair and yellowish eyes, and a girl with kind of yellowish hair and kind of like bluish eyes. 
mostly kind of also has a similar aura towards what's it called the guy with an arrogant look but yeah but of course it were well the last two were mostly something that he was never expecting to see he mostly saw a guy with kind of blondish hair of course an older looking uh mostly face of course he had kind of brown shirt also this is where well he kind of had uh, magenta eyes and this is where well he was having fun with mostly someone that he kind of took in a liking a while ago and kind of did confess to this person a girl with kind of like lightish whitish pinkish hair a little bit she kind of had blue eyes and yeah now of course all these people he saw them kind of well mostly saw them as somewhat brothers at the same time best friends one of them was almost best friend somewhat father uh mostly a father figure and then the other girls were mostly his girlfriends that he confessed a while ago but this is where well the two in the beginning mostly in the main bed were rius and akuno having fun with rise or phoenix then next to that was mostly Irina and Zenobia having fun with Kiba, his kind of, mostly he thought he was a brother, but no. This is where, other than that, it was next to be, what's it called? Ozia Argento and Sanchi, I forgot Sanchi's last name, I don't give a damn right now. But of course, that was happening, that was there. Then the last, mostly, other two was mostly, what's it called? Raffle and mostly, uh, what's it called? Konico, and of course, Gasper. This is where, well, he thought that Casper was like a little brother, but not betray man, to bruh. But of course, the last one was mostly his father figure that he actually did see as a father figure because his parents pretty much sucked that much, a lot. But of course, the father figure that he did see as a father was mostly, was it called? Someone named, um, what was his name? <sighs> Fucking, uh, Azel. Azel, the fallen angel kind of governor of, well, yeah, the fallen angels. And his other kind of last girlfriend, that being, well, mostly, um, uh, Away. Mostly Russell Weiss. Now, of course, this is where he saw this, and of course, this is where it well, he felt his chest kind of becoming tighter, and of course, this is where he felt like block, uh, mostly something is happening to his body. He felt very sick, and other things. This is where it well, he started kind of like running out from mostly the hallway, trying to make not a lot of noise, but of course, he just ran. Of course, dropped mostly a box into a trash can. This is where he just doesn't need that shit no more. Of course, this is where it will. He gets towards mostly, um, mostly away from this place and started just running away. He started kind of getting towards mostly, uh, somewhere. This is where he had an, almost enough money to just go into mostly this like hotel or mostly this motel. And this is where it will. When he gets into this motel, goes into this room and goes into the bed. Or, yeah, this is where it will. When he gets into the bed, he thought maybe he was illusioning. Maybe it's just mostly hard work and other things. But this is where, well, he decides to pass out to try to maybe forget about it. Maybe it's just illusion or something. Maybe that's all. But mostly we go into a dream. His dreams, no. It was all a, a truth. It was a nightmare. A nightmare that he just wants it all to stop. Of course, this is where, well, we go into mostly someone actually noticing this. And it was none other than Drake. Or mostly his partner seems to be in desperate need of help. Drake, when he looks through the memories, he was disgusted at seeing his mostly partner's nine kind of girls cheating on him with mostly five best friends and one father figure looking motherfucker. But yeah, this is where, well, mostly, uh, was, uh, Drake was disgusted at seeing this. Of course, he tries to calm down his partner, but seeing his partner actually having something that he wasn't expecting to see his partner have. Even though his partner is not a dragon, he still got affected by this, the dragon fall. Mostly a disease that dragons can get if mostly their mates or mostly a bunch of yeah mates or one mate cheated on them. And of course with that happening, this person, well mostly Issei, yeah, like, yeah this is Issei, is right now having the kind of curse of dragon's fall. Now of course there's no way, there's not really an existence way to manage to kind of like get rid of dragon's fall. Uh, but but mostly this dragon fall would have to kill you slowly it's like cancer a little bit that would take to four to five years but mostly this dragon fall is now taking much faster in progress speed because of mostly EC's mental state in the beginning with Rainer and then or yeah with Rainer and then it's now this nine girls and the fact that he cheated on him so of course his mental state is not the greatest 
making what's it called the Dragon's Fall become much more faster and going. And of course, the eight evil pieces are not helping his body. So that's what happened. Now we go into eight months, back into mostly the early, mostly what was happening to our mostly our protagonist or someone. This is where well we go into mostly the person coughing out blood. Uh, well mostly coughing up blood, and of course he looks at his hand, his palish white hand, and as they were well, he just say, oh, "I'm so sick." <coughs> He coughed up some more blood, but yeah, he's not in his actual bed. He's actually mostly been in this hotel bed for a while. Of course, this is where, well, he did use a kind of credit card from mostly his parents. His parents has not been mostly at the house for eight months. The reason why is when mostly his parents found out about what's it called, the girls and mostly guys kind of whole ordeal of affair. His father was enraged and tries to fight against him, but of course, mostly Riser didn't like this, and of course, decides to kill them off. So, of course, mostly Issei has lost his parents. Of course, they were well. Mostly, also tried to tell uh, mostly Riser and the others and what they just did—a horrible mistake. If Issei finds out, then he might go into mostly a berserk stage. But they haven't seen Issei in such a long time. And since the credit card has never, what's it called, the debit slash credit card, whatever, has never been turned off, Issei has been using that for staying in a hotel for eight months. Now, of course, mostly no one else has actually been able to find where Issei has went, because mostly, as on the others, try to keep this a secret, and mostly, if they can't find Issei, then Issei might have died somehow. They don't know how, but they don't care. They want to keep this secret, but yeah. Issei is right now in a hotel, right now they're like slowly dying and of course coughing up blood. There hasn't been any maintenance because he did kind of ask for no one to go into his room. But yeah, and that means no one. So of course that's that's happening. This is where, well, Issei has been coughing up blood more and more every passing month slash day slash second. This is where, well, he hasn't died it's because of the will he's having. He's having such a determined will, somewhat. But of course, that's not going to stop still the dragon fall. It will kill him in about almost a couple more, like, days or minutes or seconds or whatever. This is where, well, Issei has lasted this long, eight months. This is where, well, eight months and a half, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei's skin has become such, so pale, so white, and so bony at the same time. This is where, well, his clothes has became much more, how should I say, loose. Not because he's been gaining weight, it's because he's been losing weight. He hasn't eaten anything. He's become way too weak to eat anything at all. But of course, the only thing that's actually keeping him alive somewhat is mostly some nutrition from mostly Drake feeding him. Of course, Drake has actually asked Issei to do something about his body, but mostly Issei's mind has been shattered. So of course, he's like a vegetable somewhat. He's in a vegetable state. Of course, Issei can't do anything right now. He's just slowly but surely dying. He hasn't seen anyone. No one has actually tried to contact him. Even with what's it called, having some of the demonic magical, uh, magical signature, still with what's called Rhea's connection, Rhea hasn't wanted to go see him. And of course, that's good because mostly Issei probably couldn't even take him, probably would have went juggernaut drive. Uh, in the second right in front of Rias, and it, it wouldn't even he wouldn't even care if he had it to kill her and Juggernaut drive berserk state like he would not care. So of course with that happening, mostly well, Issei, well we go into Issei kind of mental state. Issei's right now mental state is like broken. Everything is in a shattered mess. Every single thing is shattered, broken, destroyed. This is where well. He wished that he was a lot much stronger in the mental state, but that that's not the case. Since, well, Rainer was his first girlfriend, but she killed him, and of course then Rias came along, blah blah blah. This is where, well, he actually started piecing some pieces together, even in his broken stage. He realized that mostly, since Rainer killed him, how would Rainer even knew that he had a sacred gear? And... Even if he had a weak sacred gear, he wouldn't expect the fallen angels to still kill him though. 
this is where well he didn't realize and why he had that magic circle and how he got it first what was because of mostly Rias is familiar Rias knew about the mostly Rainer trying to kill Issei but uh, she didn't do anything to stop Rainer instead she just let Rainer kill him kind of making him become a devil to help her destroy well the marriage between Riser, but that shit didn't even matter because right now but about eight months ago fucking Riser and Rias were kind of having fun so it's like fucking pointless to even break the marriage he realized of course it weren't well that wasn't something that he was just oh fucking annoyed awesome of course he also helped the other girls the, not just help Rias he helped all, all the other girls in the ORC that would be what's it called, mostly Akano and her fucking heritage of being a freaking fallen angel and a human. Now it's just a, a fallen angel and a freaking devil, but yeah. Then there was, uh, what's it called, Irina and mostly Zenobia and the whole freaking, yeah, whatever with Coco Bill. Then there was what's it called, Koniko and her problem with her sister. Then after that, it was what's it called, Raffle. Not really helping her that much, mostly helping her brother out, but that was just a stupid mistake for him to actually help him out when mostly her brother was actually a piece of shit and even her. But yeah, this is where, well, he then goes on to just be thinking everyone else, helping Kiba with his mental state and what's it called, the sword, the heavenly sword, whatever bullshit, uh, then helping Gasper, then helping what's it called, everyone else, even helping Azo and not being in such a drunken state most of the time. But of course, Issei realized that it was all fucking pointless. Every single one of it. Sanchi, well, he barely helped him that much, but still, they were still kind of friends. Perverted friends, but yeah. This thing worked well. We, well, mostly we go into Issei kind of, well. It's just, I know I realized all of this, and this is where his mind is already shattered, but it's already breaking more. All the shattered fragments around his mind is shattering. This is where, well, Drake has been telling Issei to calm down. But this is where, well, Issei couldn't calm down. He hated this place. He hated everything. He just wished he never, well, lived on. But of course, Issei doesn't know about his parents' death just yet. But that will be later on. We go into mostly Issei kind of about a slowly die. And of course, he's slowly dying, slowly but surely. And this is where, well, Drake says, Issei, we need to incarnate you into a dragon. But that'll be too risky. You have lost way too much blood. You have lost way too much of all this. Ha! Ah, what should we do, Issei? Issei said, I don't know, Drake. But I think it's best for us just to both kind of disappear. Well, mostly me disappear. You go to a stronger house. I'm sorry, my friend. But I guess it was pointless of me ever living. We were only used as our well used for our power or mostly your power. Since I'm your freaking host, I'm sorry, Drake. I'm really sorry. Well, goodbye, partner. Goodbye, indeed. We go into mostly Issei slowly closing his eyes and right now passing away. The evil pieces have finally corrupted his whole body. Right now, turning all of it black. And of course, this is where before it turned all of it black. It had a little blue kind of sparkle into his body before turning into fully ash. This thing where, well, a blue little sparkling gem appears, but of course it then shatters. We go into, mostly, somewhere very, very dark. Mostly, it seems to be like a castle or somewhere. This thing where, well, we, we, we go into mostly our protagonist waking up. Right now, opening its kind of palish kind of... Kind of palish whitish eyes. This is where it's palish hair. Very palish. It's actually there's barely any brown left. And this is where his palish skin. His bony arms and skin and anything. He doesn't really have muscles and meat or any of that. He's looking around saying, Huh, I guess I'm in hell. Or probably in Hades dimension. <laughs> Sorry, partner. I guess I wasn't strong enough to get rid of the curse. Sorry. I'm so sorry, partner. This is where, well, Issei looks around, and this is where, well, he sees everything being a little bit darker than normal. And this is where, well, Issei says, where am I exactly? This is where, well, we kind of go into someone's POV, looking at the young man that just appeared right in front of him. He had his eyes closed, 
had one, one of his hands mostly onto his chin, kind of like trying to push it up and like falling asleep like he, if he was asleep for like an eternity years. A sword next to Mashi appears, or mostly was always there, but of course he was sitting on a throne. A plastic white chair, you could say, mostly his throne. <laughs> but not for real, but an actual like black kind of throne, but yeah. Since the work, well, he opened his eyes after hearing mostly that whole kind of, um, if you don't remember what uh, happens in the beginning of what they call, mostly the beginning of the video, then let me replay and what happened. Actually, never mind. But of course, mostly we go into mostly Issei looking up to seeing someone actually start talking. Of course, this is where it will. When he looks up, he sees a guy with kind of whitish hair, slick back most of the time. Of course, this is where he has bluish eyes. Blue eyes are actually opening. This is where he stands up to be like at least 6'3 or something. Well, not 5'3, or not 5'3, it's 6'3, not 6'3, it's 6'5. He stands up from his throne and started speaking in a very... Does it work? Well, he started kind of going down the stairs because there were stairs right in front of Issei. But does it work? When Issei sees the person walking down, the person had a very merciful intent in his eyes. This is where, well, Issei was confused, but felt very, like, not scared. Instead, he didn't care. For some reason, he felt like fighting him. Somewhat. Not really. But this is where, well, Issei was too, like, very, like, bony and, of course, too pale and very weak. This is where, before he even fell down, he actually made a cane appear out of nowhere. He grabbed it and, of course, tried to push himself up. The cane was somewhat like a sword blade a little bit, but yeah. Think of it like V's kind of cane, but yeah, don't worry about them. This is where, well, Issei sees this kind of figure walking towards him. This is where, well, the figure right now walking towards Issei. Very palish Issei, mostly sick and Issei, mostly. Right now looks at Issei and says, You seriously died. Quite pathetic. I wouldn't even stand for anyone betraying me. I would have slaughtered them in an instant. I would have destroyed them in an instant. But you just ran away. You were too scared. That isn't like us. You are a foolish boy. You know that. This is where, well, Issei said, who are you anyway? Why do you say us? What are you talking about? i never seen you in my life. This is where, well, Issei's trying to get up. Of course, he's still very pale, weak and sick. And of course, this is where, well, we go into mostly this person. You are such a foolish boy. And for that, I guess... You must die, so I can be reborn. This is where, well, he pulls out the blade of the sword, and of course, the where, well, <clears throat> mostly from the sheath, and of course, the sword itself felt very dangerous. But mostly the cane that Issei was holding was mostly a, was it called, started glowing also. Of course, he felt a little bit of strength going back to his body. For some reason, that sword is actually giving him strength, and mostly this person seems to actually be releasing a very powerful demonic aura. Now, of course, it weren't well. He say, said, I don't know what's happening, but you're going to try to kill me. I won't let that happen. And that's it weren't well. The person says, foolish boy, you don't even know how to fight. Even if you know how to fight using that cane, you still don't know how to fight at all. You've been only using your fist like a pathetic idiot. Every time I watch you fight, it was so pathetic. You don't even know how to use that power. The power you were given since birth. And the power you were given since you actually got reincarnated. Mostly we are the same and yet you don't even know how to use our power at the same time. You're such a foolish boy. And for that, you must die so, my, uh, so I must be reborn. I can take all those who made you suffer and kill them in an instant. And that's how I will show you that I am be the strongest. That I'm the strongest and you're just the weakest part of our body or mostly our soul. Somewhere, well, he says, I don't know what you're talking about. But I won't give up. This is where, well, mostly the person says, hmm, even with that determination, it won't be nothing against me. You have already lost. This is where, well, mostly the person appeared behind Issei. Right now, sheaving the sword into mostly the sheath. This is where, well, Issei won his eyes. And felt like he was cut into a million fragments. But before even being killed fully. 
This is where, well, mostly a bunch of blood was actually splattering down to the ground. The sword itself, mostly the cane, started glowing bluish. And Issei, at the last strike, he stood straight, mostly a very blue flash of uh, light swings from mostly the, uh, mostly the cane itself, going straight towards the person who turned its back away from Issei. This is where, well, the person turned back and reacted towards a slash, that blue slash, it was a demonic slash. This is where demonic, powerful demonic slash. This is where, well, Issei's mostly right hand was kind of having this greenish and reddish glow. But this weird kind of reddish and greenish glow should have disappeared after his death. But yet, it's still there. This is where, well, mostly this person wiped his eyes. He then unsheathed the sword to try to block the attack. But the attack was not being able to block and actually manages to uh, well, slam into his body. This is where well, the person gets slashed and then chuckles saying, Well, at least your memories are actually starting to come back. Remember this, Virgil. This is where, well, this creature like, mostly it wasn't supposed to be, well, how should I say? Well, mostly not Virgil. It was like saying, Remember this, Virgil. You are the one with the strongest power. And you, well, not strongest power. You are the, um, the what's it called, Alpha and the Omega. So show me what you have, Virgil Sparta. This is where, well, before Issei could even m remember hearing anything, he heard all of this, but before he was actually about to die. Of course, where he was confused about the whole... Alpha and Omega, but this is where, well, he saw something pop right in front of him and saying, Would you like to become a player? Answer in five seconds or just die. This is where, well, mostly Issei said, What is this? He decided to click yes because what's, what is he going to lose anyway? He already heard from this person that he managed to slash at, right now turning to what's called energy dust and calling him Virgil Sparta at the same time, calling him by a title called mostly uh, the Alpha and Omega, and yet it's disappearing. The sword itself disappearing to bluish light, but they all went into him. But when the whole, whole thing about player system appearing, mostly everything changed. He just blacked out entirely. But we go into mostly Issei. Issei finally woke up. He felt like his head was ringing. It hurt it. But of course, that wasn't the point of it. This is where, well, Issei looks down towards, mostly towards see his hands, to see his hands. They weren't palish no more. Well, they were still palish, but he felt much more stronger than normal. He didn't feel weak or sick or any more of that shit. Instead, he felt normal, refreshed, and felt much more healthier than normal. Of course, the work, well, he touched his hair. It felt smooth and kind of like... Silky, this is where, well, he was confused, but he didn't mind. He got up and, of course, was standing up mostly upon mostly being the height of six, but he didn't know that he thought he was still mostly five seven. But this is not the point. He's right now holding something, or mostly not even holding something. There was actually something in his, was a car, right hand, or not right hand, left hand. It was mostly a different color and all that. It looked to be just different entirely. He was confused and right now was about to scream, but felt this calm aura appear on him. This is where, well, something appeared in front of him. The gamer system has activated uh, mostly the player uh, system of mostly being calm uh, has activated. Or mostly, not player system, mostly player status has activated, calming the player down from any of, well, what's he called, panic attacks or anything. Issei was confused and said, what the hell? Player status? What the hell is happening? All I can remember last time was fighting against that guy and then losing. But managing to swing down a slash before dying. And then well, feeling the rush of power and then swinging down the slash. And then this blue screen appear saying, if I would like to become a player. What is happening to me? This is where, well, he's so confused. He looks all around, he still is in the same place that he was fighting against that one person, but it's confusing. So confusing. He says, where am I? What exactly is happening to me? All I can remember is nothing. What it, who am I exactly? What, 
Wait a minute. My name was... Virgil Sparta? He remembers that name. He can't actually remember his actual original name. Huh. Virgil. Sparta. I guess that was my actual name. That's the only thing I can remember. And I remember something about title. The Alpha and Omega? What exactly is happening? This is where he touches that screen. Mostly the blue screen that appears saying, Welcome player. This is where, well, he touches because there's a little amulet. And this is where it says, Train for, uh, mostly... This is where it says, uh, training to become the strongest, to becoming the most powerful in the whole world. This is where, well, it says, do a hunger push-ups, do a hunger uh, sit-ups, a hunger crutches, a hunger, uh, wait, mostly, a mostly, a hunger uh, squats, and a 10 kilometer run. This is where, well, and you will be rewarded by this or that. This is where Issei seems confused, or mostly Virgil seems confused. What? the hell is happening <laughs> why does this seem familiar like I have seen this before he then goes into mostly a little flashback memory of mostly playing this RPG game but of course where well he then remembers the name RPG game what is happening huh this is where he remembers what an RPG game is entirely so of course this is where well for some reason his hand movement instinct to kind of get out of mostly the quest and goes to his stats this is where we go into his stats. This is where, well, if he managed to find the stats or mostly his name, he finds something very off. He finds mostly his name that says Virgil Sparta. There is also another one, but it's right now kind of locked. He can't understand why it's locked. Of course, this is where, well, he doesn't care. He sees the question marks and other things, so of course he doesn't care. Of course, the work will. He then sees other things like in the status. Mostly, it says status. Mostly, or stats, or not status. Mostly, uh. Mostly, it says class. No class. To swear, well, he says, I see. Well, it does say a class, but it's right now kind of glitchy a little bit, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei can barely understand what it says, but whatever. He then goes down from class towards seeing, well, mostly. To see title, and of course the title says Alpha and Omega. That's what it says. This is where he says, "Oh, that's interesting." It also does have a little bit more other things kind of locked and hidden. So of course he sees this like uh, numbers popping near the title and what's it called class. But yeah, he doesn't understand much. But yeah, he we then go into mostly the stats that he has. We go into strength, or not strength. Mostly we go into HP and MP. Now HP mostly is his health. Health bar, and of course, he has over, well, mostly a thousand hit points. And of course, mostly this wouldn't be the regular stats of having, but mostly, he stays a little bit different from normal. A thousand hit points, for being a level one, I should mention, but yeah. Now, MP, he has over, well, so MP is basically, ma well, MP is basically mana and mana points. So, of course, he has actually two thousand mana points, usually... This wouldn't be the case where any was starting out, and if they were normal, but for EC, it's not normal that much. The next it is mostly this is where well, it, next it says fatigue zero. This is where well, he says, said okay, or mostly Virgil said okay. This is where next is strength, and his strength is actually at, at 100 or mostly not at 100 at 50, while mostly his other things are at mostly somewhere near 50, but yeah. So, stamina, he has it over kind of a hunger tea. He can actually run for much longer and other things. But mostly, he then see his speed, mostly his agility. It's at mostly kind of, uh, how should I say, 65. And he's a little much, much more faster than normal. Strength is kind of okay, but yeah. This is where next it is, well. So, intelligence-wise, he's actually, well, kind of mostly, he's at mostly an average of like 80. So yeah, he's not that smart, but of course it's confusing to him because yeah, mostly, well, uh, what any of people have intelligence, they will remember how to speak and talk and other things, right? Uh, not the point. Mostly, uh, he also has something called per, uh, perception. That means uh, the ability to be aware and other things. He has it over pretty max. He has it at a hundred. He's aware of a lot of things. 
but he's not aware of his situation of who the hell he really is. It says his name is Virgil Sparta. He his title is called the um, the Alpha and the Omega. Of course, his uh, stat, most of his class is unknown. It's kind of glitchy a little. He can barely read it. Other things is quite different, but yeah. So he also has mostly this thing called AP, and it's mostly what's it called? He has five points mostly in AP, and that's mostly actual action points where he can actually put it in different categories to make himself stronger. But he doesn't know about that just yet. Does it work well? Does he have anything below that? Well, he does have something below that. He has something called passive skills, uh, active skills, and what's it called? Something called class skills. So, in passive skills, he doesn't have many, actually, not many are unlocked. He has a couple of them. For uh, active skills, he doesn't have anything right now unlocked or anything. And for, well, mostly class skill, he has zero things. Or mostly, the, he has something, but it's mostly glitched out. Now, of course, where, well, he says, what exactly is happening? I don't remember my actual name, but it feels like so natural to be called Vir uh, Virgil. But yet... What's happening? Ah. This is where he then goes back to the quest. And it says you will get a reward point and other things. And this is where XP. He says, says I might just start with this. Maybe. Yeah, you know, I should just start with this. He starts going to do the actual, what's it called, like, requests and other things. He managed to do what's it called, the quest and finish it. Not losing time or any of that. This is where, well, he then gets mostly five more uh, act. Uh, well, action points. He also gets with the car mostly XP of like a hundred, but yeah. This is where, well, he gets a hundred points, uh, mostly hunger XP. And of course, this is where, well, he becomes mostly level two. And this is where, well, his stats kind of changes and other things. Don't worry about that. But this is where, well, he then kind of gets a reward dungeon key, rank E. This is where, well, he reads upon it because it did pop up a little thing. And this is where, well, he say nod and says, This is quite interesting. Well, I guess since I don't have anything to do, I guess I'll go into the dungeon. This is where, well, he goes into the dungeon by seeing the key actually tell him to go into somewhere around this dark castle and actually go mostly put it into mostly the thin uh, air, open it, and of course he goes into a different dimension. This is, well, mostly this dimension is mostly this kind of forest like dimension. Of course, this is where, well, everything's so different in this place. He's confused entirely being in this, uh, mostly this place. But this is where something rushes towards him. A wolf that has kind of like whitish skin. Well, not whitish skin. Whitish fur. And of course, yellowish eyes and trying to attack, well, Issei. This is where mostly something popped up on top of him saying dire wolf. This is where, well, the dire wolf tries to attack Issei. But this is where Issei decides to punch him. Reacting fast enough and punching him so hard in the face. Destroying the bones in his body, mostly in his face. This is where, well, the dire wolf is defeated. You get 5 XP. This is where, well, he says, says, quite interesting. Quite interesting. Reward. You get 1 dire wolf meat and 2 fur, uh, mostly paws, or not fur, uh, fur paws, mostly fur balls or whatever. Mostly of the dire wolf fur. This is where, well, mostly freaking Virgil seems confused. He says, this is quite interesting. Well, maybe we should explore, explore this place more often. This is where he then goes through, but yeah, don't worry about that. But this is actually where I'm going to leave it off for actually part, what's it called, one of what if EC was betrayed, reincarnated of Virgil uh, Sparta. But other than that, and also I have the system, don't worry about that. But other than that, have a nice day, night, I guess. The guy who asked me to probably upload tomorrow, I'm going to do it today because the fuck I'm going to do tomorrow is probably sleep because mostly tomorrow's going to be raining. And I love the rain. So, yeah. Other than that, bye, see ya, and yeah, bye. Or mostly before I go. Before I go, it's time. I am the storm that is approaching. 
Okay, so yes, I'm gonna leave it off here, but don't worry about this. I am going to continue on the series. Don't worry about it, but yeah. Um, I had some other things that I had an idea, but not the point. <sighs> oh, also before I go on, is EC going to be the Shadow Monarch in this uh, mostly system? Don't worry about it. Don't worry your head about a lot of things, okay? Don't worry. It's all in plan. It's all part of Eisen's plan. Wait, I mean, my plan. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Other than that, bye, see you. I, I'm going to go. And other than that, I will upload what's it called? What if Issei or what? Yeah, what if Issei was a part of the Sono family? Don't worry. I'm going to do that one also, part four. But yeah, don't worry about that. But other than that, bye, see you, and see you. So yeah.